Let me, let me introduce, this is my dad. So we did that. Through the tunnel we went, through Delaware we went, and we got to uh, the New Jersey Turnpike, and uh, Howard Johnson said all the stops at that time, and uh, the Howard Johnson's the first one on a Jersey Turnpike at the south end, had a little hill where the parking lot was, I said, again, <laughs> you know, parked it on the top of the hill. So you can roll uh, start it. Yeah, because we still got that battery. <laughs> go inside and we're in the bathroom, you know, just really looking like we've been in true hell, which probably isn't a good description. Anyways, this guy comes in, he looks at us and starts laughing. I said, what's so funny? He said, you guys remind me of something that happened to me a long time ago. <laughs> I said, okay, I guess I understand. <clears throat> well, we, uh, got cleaned up and I think we could afford a cup of coffee. It was 10 cents then. And got a cup of coffee, got back in and uh, I think we had some food. That time we, my mother's pantry was too far away so we talked to the guys in the mess hall. And it stocked up. They gave me some stuff to, you know, to go. So we uh, rolled around the hill, started up I didn't even try to start it with the starter. I thought you were going to save any battery juice. Any, any electricity I had in case, you know, I got to where I needed it. Mm -hmm. Well, we, uh, we continued on. Blue light comes on. I'm, I'm sleeping and Turner's driving. Says, Jim, what'd you do? He said, I didn't do anything. I was well within the speed limit. I didn't do anything. Trooper comes over and says, hey, hi, guys. He said, hey, there's no problem, right? I just wanted to see it. I got one like this. <laughs> I said, yeah, oh, great. What are you doing? He said, we're traveling from Augusta, Georgia to uh, New London, Connecticut. You know what? I said, yeah, why not? You know? He said, good deal. He said, glad to see you guys doing this. Have a good trip. He said, we got back in, and uh, by the time that we got to New London, uh, <clears throat> I was so tired at one point that, you know how you doze off and wake up? I went through one of those, and I said, Jim, light a cigar, <laughs> take over. And uh, I was doing that, but I could tell him where to go to get to my parents' house. It was that. We took them to, <coughs> to a bus station in my parents' car. Mm -hmm. But that was an interesting trip. And I guess that's why you ended up having to get the engine rebuilt. Because it, it, yeah. the, the rod knock was a, a loose rod yeah. on it and whatever well, damage it had done. You know, with, with that, and I figured, you know, I pushed my lock far enough. I pushed it way beyond far enough. Uh, so I'm going to Germany, so I figured, hey, it's a good time to you know, get that motor rebuilt and get those Babbitt bearings done. Mm -hmm. Because that was before Model A's became, you know, popular and people got back into doing poured bearings and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> could do alignment on main. <laughs> oh, main bearings. <laughs> so, while you were in Germany, the shop was working on it, no big rush, yeah. and they, they rebuilt the engine, yeah. but by the time you get back, I, I guess they, they dropped it off at your parents' house or something, you know, and you stored it in the barn, but at that point, it was still totally disassembled. You know, yeah, it was uh, yeah. you had not already taken it yeah. apart, started restoring it. It looked like when I I saw it, like you had maybe I, painted the frame. Okay, this this one, uh, you know, uh, I took with me. Of course, couldn't drive it at the time because it was still in pieces. But <clears throat> first, 
I had to have a trailer. So I went and saw my friends over in the Vermont uh, Department of Transportation. They had passed the law in Vermont, no road signs, and they gave them five years to amortize the money they had in it because they didn't pay them anything. They said, you can keep these signs for five years. Then they... this, is, this is like billboards. Big boards, yeah. yeah. And at the end of five years, you know, the people said, um, you know, okay, take your signs down. If you don't take them down, we will. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't take them down, so DOT took them down, and I had a lot of, a lot of steel, mm -hmm. <coughs> galvanized steel, clovers, um, okay. You guys keep a close eye on that pile of steel. No, it's just, you know, we need to get rid of it. Just garbage to them. Yeah. And, uh, you see, you, you mind if I help you? What do you mean? I said, I need some steel. I said, I just want enough to build a trailer so I can move my vehicle. I said, I'm just a poor soldier. I wasn't really that poor, but uh, built a trailer. And um, I had, you may remember it, it was a... Uh, Toyota pickup that I had gotten from your South, mother's South Georgia, actually. Yeah, yeah. South Georgia. Uh, so it's the, uh, it's like a '73 Hilux Toyota pickup, yeah. four speed, I, four cylinder. I, I did something unusual for me. I uh, <clears throat> I, I put electric brakes on it. Yeah, I had the Toyota pickup and. Uh, in one area, I had to go uh, on a busy four lane in northern New Jersey to to get uh, to get to the New Jersey Turnpike or whatever. I don't. Anyways, and Clover Hill and some pool was stopped. And, get that uh, electric. Yeah, I needed it. Well, I remember that trailer because I we still had it in uh, when we moved to Georgia. And it was heavy. No. It, it outweighed that Toyota pickup. Then you put this on top of it, which, yeah. looking back now, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. You know, to drive that from Vermont with you know, that trailer with all that steel on it, yeah. you know, homemade and like uh, house trailer axles. And then these weigh a couple thousand pounds. You know, they're not super heavy, but the combination. Yeah. Pulling it with that little four cylinder, four speed Toyota. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even pull a trailer you know, that far, yeah. loaded alone, loaded with a well, it, top heavy you know, car. It, it, it's like driving a big truck with a big load. You know, you you got to drive accordingly. You know, you're not going to be able to stop, you know, just like that. And, yeah. you know, so, and just uh, takes you a while to get up to speed. I, I, I made it. Uh, yeah, it's like 1,200 miles, yeah, because we were in northern Vermont. 1,200. Yeah, to yeah, uh, back to Atlanta. Yeah. And that's when uh, his job changed yeah. and we moved the, to, to Georgia. The, the Model T, uh, because I had a lot of stuff beside household goods, the government was, I was on, you know, active duty military, um, and uh, the government would move my household goods, but they would not move my Model T. They mm -hmm. said it's not household goods. You know, well, picky, picky, picky. Uh, and I had a bunch of other stuff too, you know, tools and whatnot. So uh, I talked to the transportation officer, and uh, I said, "Here's my problem." You know, I said, "Can I get?" Just, you know, a check for the amount that you, you would have to draw out to pay for a mover. Right. Just give me and the cash and I'll move an myself. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the sea warming bureaucrat said, no, you can't do that. I said, Major, I got a problem here. We, I don't want anything extra. I don't want an extra dime. Just what you would have to pay <laughs> already. No. <laughs> As it turned out. There was plenty of money. As a matter of fact, he actually paid less for me to, to rent a 45-foot trailer truck. And uh, 
We put the Model T in there and put everything else in there. And he had his own moving crew because <laughs> he had four teenagers. Me and my brother and my sisters helped some. So he had his own moving crew to, to load it and move it down here. Yeah, yeah I remember you know, when we moved, you got that trailer yeah. truck stuck in the front yard. <laughs> and that's, um, that, that's how... You got the it, Model T down here. It, it all got, yeah, you know, the T and the A both. And, and, and all that stuff kind of sat until we moved down. Yeah. I remember you, you came down early with this. And it sat at your work, and then, uh, then but you finally course, found a house and moved. This one and his brother, cool conspirator brother, decided they're going to get this running. I come home from work one one well, afternoon, and we we had done a lot of work. You know, mm -hmm. when we first moved to Georgia, you bought two farm LAs that we restored, tore them all apart, new in, you know. You, showed us engines oh, and that was a training period yeah and I, then then we got into classic uh, chevys i took him and his brother i had a 55 chevy six cylinder you know 235 and uh had them rebuild the motor so and, you know uh, so we did every bit of the work on you know that worked on this too but so we had already <laughs> done our mechanics apprenticeship there yeah. with two farm alls 55 Chevy, that 56 Chevy, which had the, the best engine we had. Um, somewhere in there, we got into some 57 Chevys, too. The, the 55 Chevy that they rebuilt, I took it to go to Fort Belvoir, which is just south of Washington, uh, for a course that I had to go through there that was about a month long. And uh, it was in the middle of the winter, in right January. Uh, drove it up there, didn't have a problem on. The only problem I had the whole time I was there was it got colder than a well digger's backside and, and uh, the battery didn't hold up. So I went to the PX, bought a battery, put it in there and that was the only problem I had. That was when uh, Ronald Reagan was being inaugurated. So like January 20th. Everybody was celebrating. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we would, we were celebrating too. We, uh, riding around 55 Chevy. <laughs> the, uh, well, that was like 1984, Ronald Reagan saw inauguration, something like that. Yeah. January 84, I believe. Uh, so Wait. Eddie and I had worked on cars. It wasn't just the, the first thing I, that we had tried well, with this. One of the things you remember, one of the few things I remember was we were riding around Washington. We had a map, but needed to have some light to see the map. It was at night because we had classes during the day. And the damn switch did not turn the lights on, <coughs> but the door one worked. So we're driving through downtown Washington with the door open. <laughs> Trying to separate <laughs> the, the dome path. light. And uh, we would end up parking between, you know, everybody else had limousines, just rich Republicans, right? Celebrating. And uh, they had reserved seats, or reserved places, I should say, uh, at the Capitol. Like they, they would be, you know, 200 yards away. So, we went down there ahead of time and scouted it out and found a place where we were like 50 feet from him as he came by. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we got there early, got our place. Sure enough, we only made one mistake. This, that side of the street we were on was all government buildings. On the other side were restaurants and whatnot. It was cold, cold, cold. And we watched the people on the other side go in a restaurant and come out and drink hot coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, you know, to get to get back to, the, you know, this, this car is, uh, the, the bottom line, when I, I figured out because the speedometer did work, the bottom line was, uh, I put 33,000 miles 
on this car and was never left, you know, stranded. A few times you pushed your luck there. Like I was pushed, well, you know. A you know, rod push, knock. Yeah, you're pushing your luck, but also. And a head you gasket. Know, you you got to be able to. To maintain you, it, yeah, repair you, it. you got to know what you're doing. you got to be able to maintain it. And if you maintain your own, then you know what you got. And mm. you know what needs to be done. The tools that you're going to need yeah. and a spare head gasket, yeah. you know, some spares. No, you know. He and I had a little incident not too long back. Uh, we were going to go to uh, uh, a Model A event, and he was driving. We're going down the road. All of a sudden, it started clanging noise, and it sounded just like a piece of tin dragging, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it was. There was a shield on, this is not this Model A, obviously, but another Model A. They, they put a shield over the muffler to reduce the amount of heat, which really is totally unnecessary because, you know, I never put one on this one, never thought it needed it. The floorboard never got hot. Uh, well, anyway, so. Well, it goes muffler, heat shield, and floorboard, so trying to keep some heat, maybe sitting in a parade or something, but it went whoop and slid down and was under the muffler. And then one clamp actually fell off. So then we're dragging it on, yeah. down the road. So we, I pull over looking and then see this heat shield. It, so we didn't, <laughs> we weren't prepared. We didn't have very many tools. Again, we got, got a pair of pliers because, or something. Yeah, because the other clamp was not that tight when I just did it off. And uh, <clears throat> we did it and said, okay, we, Ready to go again. He steps on the starter and nothing. Boom. Not not even a little grunt. And uh, what, what's weird is because no. right before this, we're driving along and I'm looking at the amp meter and it's like... The amp meter is going crazy. It's like, you know, why is it charging so much? Because the day before I started this thing, uh, not this one, uh, the 28, probably four times. Yeah, I moved it around the yard, yeah. I pumped up the tires and checked it. And Used up all the juice in it. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I went and got gas in it too. So I knew the battery was good, you know, and I was looking at it as we're driving along. It's like, why is the amp meter? I don't have the lights on, you know, why is it doing that? And, uh, and then it wouldn't start. Then I'm thinking, battery's probably good. Did the starter die or is the starter switch dead? And um, at some point, because this was a Model A event, Model A's come by, ooga, ooga, as they're yeah, headed to the wave. event. Wave and smile, and wave. But one guy stopped. I, I can't remember his name. I think, was it Charlie Brown? It, it seems like it was. Guy from LJ. Yeah, I think his name actually was Charlie Brown for some yeah. reason. They, but they, he was a nice guy. They helped us push. He jump starts it. And it goes 100 feet and dies. <laughs> it was just enough juice in there, apparently, to carry it about 100 feet because that, it was totally, totally, completely flat out dry. And, uh, so but at least at that point, I was able to pull into a driveway and get it off the side of the road. So we're like less dangerous of getting run over. And, and the, the guys that helped us, he, he pulled forward and we discussed the issues. And he, he knew Model A's too. You know, yeah. He was a Model A, he owned a Model A. Yeah. He had like a, uh, a roadster, I think, him and his wife. And uh, we discussed it and we were only less than 10 miles, 10 or 20 miles from your house. Yeah. And I said, we're not very far. My car has a, a good battery in it. I'll just call my brother-in-law. He can go s snatch my battery out of my car. My um, in another video, I show it, the uh, 31 Coopster Jalopy, but it had a good battery in it. <laughs> it's like I'll just call him. He can run us up a battery up here. So you guys, you know, the uh, the guy that stopped and helped us, go on to the event because there was going to be a parade headed into the North Georgia Music Festival. I think it was like this past May. 
And uh, so he was really nice. He's, you know, do you want me to stay? He's like, no, 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 you go ahead. And he and his wife, you know, she's like, would you like some candy? She's sitting there munching candy. <laughs> and she went on, and they went on, and we got to talking about it. And it's like, I wonder, you know, if the battery, if it's just low, if it cooked all the, the water out of it. And before leaving the house, I was like, you need to grab, you know, I bought, I had two bottles of water, you know, one for him and me, and we're sitting in this parade and stuff. So we hadn't, I don't think I drank any of it. So we had two little, you know, bottles of water and I topped the, the battery actually was low and I poured all, both bottles of water in there so you can tell how low it was. And we let it set a little bit. And Thanks for watching and click uh, subscribe to see more videos and click the like button and these will pop up on your feed. Uh, but thanks everybody, take care. Uh, yeah.